Hello, I am Shaji. Welcome to Java Programming. In the last video, we have seen a program how to create a Java application program for adding two numbers by reading the values. So, in this video, we are going to see how to uh, do program for doing other calculation like finding the difference of two numbers and division multiplication all kind of operations so here we are creating another class new java class and in the same application package we can give the name um, calc yeah calc of the class is calc and we need a main method in our program and finish. So we got the uh, template for the application Java uh, Java application. So this is the program. Okay, in the main, as usual, we can uh, declare the variables. double a comma b comma ns so we have declared three variables a b two values we are going to get in one in a and one another one in b and the third one uh, is the is the one for storing the value and here also we are supposed to use the scanner uh, classes object in our program so that we can read some values and we can put that value into uh, these variables so for using scanner scanner uh, we can create an object of scanner let it be sc scanner sc equal to new scanner and this constructor of the argument, uh, constructor of this uh, scanner class takes the argument system dot in. System dot in. So that this SC object will be having functionality to read the stream from the console. and uh, now we can give a display on the screen so that user can uh, enter the number user will get an idea of what to do so enter the first number so it will be a code in the screen so that the user can enter a, a number so we have the variable a here. so we are going to read a value and we are going to save it into the variable a here so a equal to we can use the sc object sc dot next double because we are going to read a double value so one value will be taken from the um, user and that will be assigned to the variable a here and again we want to get one more number so enter another number so that time user can give another number and that number can be saved into the variable b so the technique to read the same thing which we have used earlier sc dot next double sc dot next double so this sc object is going to read the next value from the keyboard which is supposed to be a double value so double uh, data type kind of value so it can have decimal uh, values and it will be building a little bit bigger value than that of integer so the size of integer double and the other data types we will discuss later in some other videos so just uh, without learning much theory of java programming here we are trying to learn the programming without having much theories in it so what is double what is integer leave all those concepts for time being we will see all those concepts later 
So we have two values ready, A and B. Now we have to do the calculation. Suppose if the program is for multiplication, then answer, answer, uh, yeah, ANS is the name of the variable for the result, ANS, ANS, ANS equal to um, A into B. So we are going to get the value and finally, uh, we can print it system dot out dot print uh, the answer is the answer is and we can give a answer here that is a n s just under the understand that if you want to uh, have some string you can give it in the quotation and if you want to give something else put in plus operator and we call it as concatenation operation of string so leave all those concepts if those things are new to you you have to just plus and you have to give the values so both the values will go together for the print so system dot out dot print land print LAN. ln this is the this is a method uh, in java for printing some string so this is a string uh, and it is going to be printed on the screen so I'm going to save it. Let me run it. So now it is asking for values. I'm going to give 10. And it is asking the second value. I'm going to give 20. So the answer will be 200. It's perfect and fine. Okay, if you want to modify this program for uh, division, then change the symbol into division instead of multiplication. Save it. Run. Now it's asking for the first number. So, first number this time I am giving a bigger value 1000 and it is asking for the second number I am going to give 20. So, 50 is the answer if you divide 1000 with this value. So, and here if you want to find the differences between these two values A value and B value. So, we can use minus operation for uh, getting the differences between A and B. So, A minus B. So, A can be the larger number among these two uh, if you want to get a positive output otherwise value will be answer will be negative whatever uh, we can uh, do like this a minus b and the answer will be stored in this variable a n s if you run this it is asking for values so i'm going to give 25 and for the next sorry i have given 15 sorry now the first value I have given 15 and the second one I am going to give 5 and the answer will be 10. So in this way we can uh, have the basic arithmetic operations plus minus into and division. And in Java there is one more um, there is one more operator that is called modulus operator. So it is going to give the remainder of the division if suppose a divided by b and the remainder value not the quotient the remainder value will be given here and that is going to be printed let us see what is going to happen in this example so i'm going to run it asking for first value okay i'm giving going to give the first number is 10 and the second number i am going to give 3 so if you divide 10 by 3 you will get a remainder of 1 yeah is coming 1.0 or 1 so this is a remainder operator so this operator is called modulus operator or remainder operator this symbol used here is percentage symbol okay in uh, java programming language like many other programming languages we have the operators arithmetic operators multiplication um, division operation minus for subtraction operation and plus for addition operation and together with that we have a modulus operator so these are all the arithmetic operators used in the language this modulus operator is used to find the remainder to get the remainder of a division and this is a simple program you can try it in your editor in your compiler and you please try it out and if you have any doubt in this program Please feel to, please feel free to write to me. 
my email id is it underscore teacher1 at yahoo.com it underscore teacher1 at yahoo.com so thank you for watching this video have a nice day bye